New Zealand. A voice crying in the wilderness, he said, repent. If you can't repent, which means to turn away from all known sin, you won't be saved. I thought I was a Christian for 47 years. I was a sinning Christian. Well, the Bible says there's no such thing. It says in the uh, 1 John 3, verse 8 and 9, he who committed sin is of the devil. So I was of the devil. If you're committing sin, you don't belong to God, you belong to the devil. You belong to the devil, don't belong to the devil. Devil. He who is born, whosoever is born of God, sinneth not. Why? Because God's seed remains in him, and he cannot sin because he's born of God. So you must be born of God. And the only way you can be born of God is for God to wash you. The reason why he said to the disciples, I've got to wash your feet. You can't have anything to do with me unless I wash you. Is because God is holy. Jesus said, and so did the disciples, be ye therefore, be holy. Even as your Father in heaven is holy. God wants you to turn from your sins. He wants you to live a holy life. Some people can't imagine it. Can't imagine what it will be like. To, to, to live a day without sinning, without looking at a woman with lust in your eyes. Jesus made it very difficult for us, didn't he? Because the Bible says, you know the Bible says about little kids, it says, suffer little children to come unto me, Jesus said, for theirs is the kingdom of God. Isn't that wonderful? All little children belong to the Lord Jesus Christ. All little children go. So Mark, you've got a responsibility to bring those kiddies up in the love and admonition of the Lord of the Bible. The Lord Jesus Christ. Don't, don't turn them off the Lord Jesus Christ because the Bible says it's better if you, if you stumble one of these little ones, one of these little children that the Lord Jesus Christ loves, it's better that a millstone's tied around your neck and you're cast into the sea. 